Good afternoon, Kevin from Cunis RV here in Stoughton, Wisconsin. Today we're going to take a look at the Crossroads Sunset Trail 212RB. Um, awesome unit, we've got a lot going on with it. I'm going to start right on the front here and just kind of walk you through it. Three nice features all together right in this area. Uh, large grab handle, great to go over your door as you're going down the road. You got a leash tie off for your dog here. And you got power jacks here, which are fantastic all the way around the unit. Also have a solid mass set of steps here. Um, going in and out makes it absolutely easy and you don't get the rocking anymore, but real easy to put in, just as easy to bring back up. Got two 110 outlets on the side of the camper, which is nice. You got set up for your cable TV and satellite because what's camping without satellite and cable TV nowadays? Back of the furnace is gonna be right here. We don't wanna lean up against it. It of course won't burn you, but it will scare you a little bit. Um, tandem axle trailer, so it's going to grip the road a lot better. Fiberglass exterior, full aluminum cage with block insulation. Water heater is going to be gas and electric. It is push button, direct spark ignition on everything, so you're not lighting anything, which makes it real easy. Second set of leveling jacks for the front of the unit right here. What's nice about it is you also have a power jack up front, so leveling this unit front to back is going to be very simple. You get oversized pass-through doors, which is nice. They are the slam latch, which makes it very easy in opening and closing. Magnet up top, so you're not using your head to hold it. 25-foot power shore cord, which is very nice. And you also have a backup crank. If for any reason your front tongue jack is not working, you can put it in to lift and lower it. You got your heavy-duty chains, your power cord, and your breakaway wire on here two 20 pound cylinders, which we fill for every customer. We do have two marine grade stereo speakers here that can play outside, inside, or both at the same time. LED strip lighting under the awning. It is a push button awning. Um, it's nice if you do get any weather, it will crouch and drop the water, but we do recommend you obviously pulling it in in any adverse weather. Um, with the weight at 4,800 pounds, this is definitely going to be a half tonnable. Um, some of the sport utilities on the market can pull it as well. This unit does come equipped with an attachment spray hose, which is nice for washing off sand, pets, anything like that. It is a quick connect on and off. Your power cord setup is right here, and that is for the 25 foot cord we talked about earlier. Um, on your slide out, what's nice is they have a bubble seal and two sweep seals to keep all the water off. What's important about the slide out is being able to get up on the roof and be able to look at the slide. If you camp in a wooded area, you don't want sticks or debris on the slide out. The beauty of the Sunset Trail is you're going to have a ladder so you can get up there, sweep it off, check everything on the roof. UV is hitting that all the time. Very important to always keep an eye on the roof. Spare tire, hopefully you never need it, but it's there if you do. And a nice tube bumper with storage inside for your black hose. Pretty standard features on most campers nowadays is gonna be your monitor panel. It's gonna give your slide out, your awning, both push button, both automatic. You also have heated tanks on this particular unit. Therefore, early season, late season camping is gonna be very comfortable for the whole family. Uh, your water heater, both gas and electric, they are direct spark ignition. Your main light bank for inside the unit, and then your tanks, gray, black, fresh, and your battery. Very simple to use. Oversized closet, which is nice. There's never enough storage in a camper. The bottom of the unit is gonna give you your fuses and your breakers. With this unit, one of the unique features is gonna be the Chase Lounge. Um, very comfortable as a couch, very comfortable as a Chase Lounge. What I really like is gonna be the storage underneath. Awesome storage there. You got the self-holding table that is built right into the couch. What's nice about this is, once you get this off, it turns into an oversized bed actually. And unlike the old style, where there was a bar across your back at all times, this is such a simple setup. And you can obviously fit more people because of the Chase Lounge. But again, very simple setup. They make it so easy to get out and about. Just 
to the right of that, you're going to have more light fixtures, more USB ports. You're going to have a 12 volt oversized 10 cubic foot refrigerator. I'm quite certain you can keep everything in there. In the master bedroom, you're going to have overhead blue lighting, which is great at night, a reader light. And what I really like is USB and 110 on both sides of the bed. Plenty of storage overhead and on the sides. And sectional storage underneath. Of course, if you bring the pets camping, what's nice is the pet station where you can put dog dishes, dog bowls, things like that. Um, if you don't have pets, great place for your shoes. A lot of my customers on this unit, because of the bar setup, they'll put in two bar stools, give you a little extra seating for dinner, hanging out, conversation, whatever it might be. Awesome 30 or 40 inch TV in this one. Overhead handheld sprayer, which is nice. And with the sink, they went to a barn style sink. Therefore, you're not trying to fit dishes in. You have all the room. You've got the roll up for drying nice rack and then also a cutting board and sink cover microwave is going to be a 110 setup obviously you need to be plugged in for this the air conditioner and the tv everything else in the unit is going to be gas or battery nice blue light or night light on the stove three burner cooktop and a range and they are both Direct spark ignition with the sparker. No more lighting anything in the camper. You're basically ready to go. Now, the most important area, the bathroom. Basic shower. What's nice about this is they actually give you some room in here and an overhead cutout for a little extra headroom. Not for me so much. Standard RV toilet, real simple to use. I hope you like the uh, Sunset Trail by Crossroads. We've been doing a lot with it. Uh, we have them at all of our locations. If not, there's going to be other floor plans that are very similar. Feel free to reach out to any one of our stores as we're always here to help you. Have an awesome day. Thanks.